Hello and welcome to my Fauna Sexy channel. This time I am going to talk about the next type of consonant sounds. I have finished I have finished plosives and now I will talk about fricatives. What do you mean by fricatives? Fricatives is that the air is stopped inside. The air is inside. And when we produce the sound, we hear a friction sound. We hear a friction sound or a frictionless sound. A friction sound. Okay. What does this one? It's like you hear a hissy sound. A friction. You hear there is a friction in the sound. Okay. About V. There is a friction. So, fricatives are sounds produced by an incomplete closure an incomplete closure of the mouse when we studied plosive it's a complete closure of the mouse p b t d k g ok about f f ok Produce without a complete closure, the air narrowing the air passage, narrowing the air passage, cause, uh, causing and or producing an audible friction. Now, everyone, everybody know the letter F. The first two pairs of letters under this group is F. Is F. This is a letter F. When I tell you what is the symbol for the letter F, we draw two lines as we as we as we learned before. Two lines before and after the, the letter. Okay. What is the sound of the letter F? What is the transcription of the letter F? F is a consonant. Yes. Remind me, please. All of the consonant letters. All of the consonant letters. Except the letter C, which I wish have you seen the exceptions I, twist, uh, I explained in the previous lesson. Except the letter C, and except the letter J, has special cases and special exceptions. All of the letter consonant letters take the same, in the, I think the same sound symbol as the letter. So the sound symbol for F is F also. What's the sound for F? It is. Do you hear the sound? Also, it's whispering sound. It's like. So, it is voiceless. F is voiceless. What is the next one? V. The next one is V. V. What is the. Transcription of the letter V. What is the sound symbol of the letter V? It's also V, since a consonant, and you have not put it under the exception, so it's also V. What is the sound of the letter V? It is V. v. Put your hand here. V. What did you feel? V. You feel a vibration in the low vocal cords. V. So it is voiced. This one is voiceless, and this one is voiced. This one is voiced, voiceless. And the other one is voiced. So F is voiceless, and V is voiced. So minor articulation, bless of articulation. Which two organs come close to each other when we produce a sound? <laughs> Pay attention to this one. <laughs> Which two organs you hear in my mouth are close to each other? <laughs> by another mean, by another meaning, which two organs touch each other? <laughs> Does the tongue appear? No, the tongue is not here. Do you see my lower teeth? No, I don't see your lower teeth. 
Do you see my lips? Yes. Which lips? The upper or the lower? The lower lips touches the upper teeth, as you see here. So, it is labiodental. Place of articulation is labiodental. Labio, the lips, dental. Of course, you know the dentist. The dentist is a doctor of your teeth. So, when you want to remove some of, one of your teeth, you go to the dentist. So, den dental comes from the word dentist. Remember it by this. Dental, we will write it here. We will write it here. How do you remember the word dental? The word dental? This is dental. Comes from the word dentist. Comes from the word dentist. So, labio, lips. Touches. Dental. Touches the upper teeth. That's it. That's my articulation. Manner of articulation, the way of these two organs, the way of these two organs, the way of these two organs do to produce a sound. The lips touches the upper teeth, making a narrow passage between them. Then the air comes outside between this narrow passage with a friction. Yes, so this is the manner of articulation. Manner of articulation is fricative. Now let's see examples. As in, as in, as in feel. Feel, we begin by the letter F. Transcribe the word. How are we going to transcribe F? How are we going to transcribe F? Yes, it's the same. Teacher is the same as the letter. Why? Because you have told me many times that all of the consonant letters take uh, the sound symbol is the same as the consonant letter, except the letter C. Yes, so here, F. What is the sound of the letter F? What's next? Feel. E. When I say feel. Fee, fee, yes, you finish to use the sound of and then e, fee, may attention that the sound you hear after f is not the sound of f. We already produced the sound of f, which is f. Next is e, which you hear after that. Fee, this. Noisy sound you hear is not for the sound F. No, we all we already said that F is a sound F. Next, F. So it's E. The sound after F is E. Double L. E. E. So the sound of E, remember it in the long vowels? It is I and two dots. I and two dots. Every letter that has two dots means it's a long vowel. What's the last? Feel. It's L. What is the sound symbol for L? It's the same as the letter L. What do we do after that? You draw a line like this. Yes, that's it. Let's see another example for V. Let's see example for V. An example for V. Veal. First, v. the sound for V. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go on, transcribe. How are we going to transcribe the letter V? It is the same V. What is the sound of V? V. What next? V. E. Yes. What is the sound for E? E the same as the previous one. I and put it two dots. 
Zila, la, la. This is L. So it's L. That's it. That's our lesson. Wait a moment. That is a lesson. Now let's take some examples for these two sounds. For these two sounds. Now we already take veil and feel. Fail and veil. Very and very. We have mod very very. We have is the word okay proofing uh, proofing actually I have studied the lesson I have finished this lesson see you next time goodbye